Alright, yo, sup? So I was doing my artifacts on my Twitch, as I do. When I started doing them, I had 2.2 thousand viewers. By the time I was done, I had 3.3 thousand viewers. I did not expect my micromanaging of artifacts to nearly give me this traction. In fact, I was expecting quite the opposite, but I'm sensing a pattern that a lot of people don't know what the fuck to do for artifacts. So sit back. Relax, I'm gonna break it down for you real easy, and hopefully we can make these artifacts that are currently stressing a lot of people out, turn it from the damnation that it is to the salvation that y'all deserve. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe because YouTube told me to tell you to do that. Thanks. All right, so I've made another video on this, but in case you don't wanna watch it, you could always go watch that after this. I made an entire video on the best artifacts to farm. Um, but let's just go over it again real quick. So Midsummer Courtyard is gonna drop three sets. Uh, it's gonna drop uh, Thundering Fury, which is a great set to farm. You have Thunder Soother, which is, you know, once again, you can pretty much use either of them if you like. Uh, and then you have uh, Resolution of Sojourner, which is a fine and dandy set. I think this place is great to farm, especially if you're 45 plus. The majority is that you can get some use out of and some are best in slot for electro users So I think this place is great to farm. We also have um, Valley of remembrance. This place is amazing Both legendary sets that drop here are best in slot for a lot of the units that uh, co-align with them uh, You have Viridus and Venerare, which is gonna be great for Animo users You're also gonna have Maiden's Beloved, which is gonna be pretty much best in slot for any healers uh, Tiny Miracle is dog shit and you won't use it. This one We also have Crimson Witch and Lava Walker which, to be honest, there's a slight difference. It really isn't that big enough to get fussy over. I'm fine with using either of these on any fire damage dealer. Should be good to go. However, uh, Defender's Will is pretty much shit, and there is a reason why I'm talking about all this. We have Clear Pool and Mountain Cavern, uh, where we have Bloodstained Chivalry, which I think is terrible. We have Noblesse Oblige, which I think is absolutely amazing. We have Gambler, which is severely underrated and amazing. And we also have Scholar, which is absolutely incredible. And then we have this one over here which is the weird fucking sets so we have archaic petra which is amazing best in slot for a lot of geo damage dealers we have uh retracing blight which is a super wonky set and i don't want to weigh in on it i have no idea about the set i find it wonky as shit and any character i want to use it on it doesn't work correctly like for example this shit the shield increase only works on Diona's shield on herself and doesn't apply to anybody else. It's so goddamn stupid. And then you have Heart of Bravery, which is, I don't know, it's okay, I guess. It's solid, I guess you could say. Now, we're going to talk about the most important thing that y'all need to know first. That way, you don't have to sit here through the entire video, but a lot of people didn't know that you could do this uh, when I was streaming on Twitch. So there is a thing at the bottom that you can use to actually micromanage your artifacts. Uh, so that way, if you're looking for a specific artifact, this will show you all of them. So let's say I'm looking for an artifact with the main set of crit rate. Uh, it'll actually put the artifacts. Oh, also substats of crit rate. Hey, we learned that shit together, dude. Look at that. That's clean as shit. Nice. This will actually sort uh, the artifacts that have crit rate for you and uh, push them to the top. Let's actually see how far we have to scroll the one that doesn't have crit rate. Crit rate, crit rate, crit rate. Damn, still. And there we go. Okay. Crit damage, elemental master. Where's the last crit rate? Crit rate, crit rate, crit rate. Crit rate. So yeah, it'll actually push all the ones with the substat to the top, that's sick. And then you also, let's say you go to cups, okay? And then you wanna search by, let's say pyro damage bonus, cause that's what I need, but I don't fucking have any. Uh, it will push them all. Oh, I shit, I clicked physical. I was like, what the fuck happened? Pyro damage, <laughs> okay, we goofed it. Hey, we own it, that's all right. We got pyro damage. Uh, fuck my brain, like shut off for that, goddamn. Uh, yeah, it'll push everything with pyro damage to the top. So currently I have three. Dude, that's sad, man. That's sad. That's all I have. Every other one is dog shit. And that's what y'all are gonna realize is that it doesn't matter if you hold on to a bunch of artifacts, if they're garbage, okay? Now, here's what you can do to figure out whether a artifact is trash or not and whether you should keep it. If you can tell, we have some artifacts that are locked and some artifacts are not, okay? Now, for five stars, you don't need to lock them because you can't feed them to another artifact for experience unless you manually put them in there. And if you manually put in a artifact that's good, well, that's your own damn fault and you deserve to be fucked. 
However, you can use the locking feature to demonstrate at a quick glance which one of these artifacts has your potential in order to further, uh, I guess, speed up the artifact process by not needing to click on any of these uh, artifacts unless it has new above it and you're checking out for the first time or you know that it's good with the lock and the rest are trash. And yeah, you can totally feed five-star artifacts um, into other artifacts because it gives a shit ton of experience. And at the end of the day, even though it's five-star, that does not mean that it's good. Another thing that we need to talk about is another thing that um, I guess people aren't really noticing about artifacts. Uh, so for anybody who's played, you're going to notice that when you roll out a artifact, you're going to have four substats displayed over here, okay? Did you know that some artifacts start out with four substats and some artifacts do not start out with four substats, okay? Now, for five stars, this is totally okay. You can use a decent artifact if it has three substats and you wanna to hope to get lucky and nail a dope ass fourth substat. You unlock substats like this. Um, every four levels, you'll get a new substat or if you've reached the four substat threshold, your next roll won't be a new substat, but it will roll into one of your pre-existing substats. So uh, let's do an example here real quick. So let's say, sure, we'll do this one. Even though it's garbage, hey, I do this shit for y'all, okay? So we're gonna roll this real quick. I'm gonna dump all this. You might be worried why I'm dumping all these three-star artifacts. Don't worry, we're gonna explain all that shit right later. We're gonna dump everything, Literally, I don't give a shit. It's 6 a.m., just wanna show y'all. So we get HP right here, okay? We got HP, all right? But now, if we juice it up one more time, we're now going to get defense. We already had defense, but as you can see, it's not gonna go from zero to 46. It's going from 23 to 46. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Five stars can get to level 20. Uh, purples can get up to level 16. Do not use blue artifacts if you can avoid it. They can go up to level 12. They're so goddamn weak. If you have a four-star artifact and it only has two pre-existing substats, I'm gonna be real, dog. You can pretty much dump it, okay? You can disagree with that if you like. I don't think you should because you are just losing so much stats right off the bat. But at the end of the day, you can use what you have. But I'm saying if you are 45, bro, give it a week, farm it up. You, can, you should be able to avoid using, um, you know, four-star artifacts with two substats. So in my opinion, four-star artifacts with only two substats, you can leave them unlocked and you can use that shit for experience, okay? Because at the end of the day, you really only have to build two units well. Both of your main damage dealers for Abyss, okay? One for team one, one for team two. You should hopefully be able to scrounge up two damage dealers after at least, let's say four weeks of artifacts, worst case scenario, okay? So yeah, for five stars with three substats, uh, you can keep them, but for four stars with two substats, I just say, leave them unlocked, feed those son of a bitches, okay? So now it's talking about, well, how do I tell if I wanna keep a four star artifact with three substat or not, okay? Because obviously you're already gonna know, the four star ones are going to be at a deficit comparatively to five stars. But if you have a perfect substat roll on your uh, four stars, it's going to be pretty nice. So as you can see, this one right here, this one has potential because you need damage dealers. And a lot of assists, you know, they're pretty much all damage because at the end of the day, they're not going to be on the field. So you just need to have as much damage as possible on them because they don't need mitigation. This one has crit damage and attack percent. And that one's okay to keep, okay? We're all at different stages of the game. Even though this one isn't perfect, it still has potential because if this were to roll, crit rate this could be a damn fine artifact okay and also keep in mind if the artifacts are at higher um exp level they will actually give you more exp back when you do feed them in so it is a nice cycle it's it's, it's very like it's like recycling okay once again crit rate crit damage hp percent this one's very flexible to put on a damage dealer or i could also put it on like let's say uh what a barbara i think she does hp percent scaling damage i think i don't know if heals could crit actually i should look that up sometime but right now i don't know but let's say there's an hp percent damage there i think diona does that maybe uh you can use that on her or just have some extra mitigation in case they are going to take the field like for prolonged matters like chi chi who needs to stay on the field to get her heals done with her e and you attack and you attack and you attack and you attack or gene same thing with crit rate energy recharge 
looks good but let's say and i recently um fixed my runes but this one right here okay defense percent main stat elemental mastery flat attack flat hp i'm gonna tell you this right now if it has a flat stat they're absolute garbage okay they don't scale at all they're terrible they're absolutely terrible flat stats are absolute diarrhea dicks however elemental mastery is great because it's always flat and helps your damage for interactions uh but defense percent main stat you're pretty much not going to run that on anybody except maybe noel because she's the only person who can actually use defense so this one is already shit and then you pile on the fact that it's niche yo feed this son of a bitch even if it has three uh even if it has three stuff stats it's still fucking garbage okay this is another one yo geo damage super hard to get because uh the cups are the only one that can actually get one of the elemental uh, affix bonuses these ones are already hard enough to get has crit damage has energy recharge if this were to roll attack percent and crit rate this would be fucking nuts so you need to go through all of your artifacts and you need to go through and think about who would i use this on is it good what is the potential is it worth rolling on or not what is the best case scenario what is the worst case scenario and go through that through all your artifacts lock what's good unlock what's bad and feed that shit don't become i see so many people being pack rats and it's absolutely pointless okay and now we're gonna do this too and i'm gonna make it even easier for y'all okay i will tell y'all what sets you don't fucking need majorly okay lava walker good crimson witch of flames great defenders will what the fuck even is that terrible you don't fucking need it okay you don't need it defenders will garbage okay next maidens beloved amazing beer doesn't venerare amazing wanderers trope uh that's up to you gladiators for not fun uh finale amazing noble sublige amazing bloodstained silvery i think it's shit berserker pretty good instructor great martial artist middle of the pack exile great tiny miracle dog shit gambler amazing scholar amazing braveheart what the fuck are you what is braveheart how have i never seen this stuff before where do you even get this okay the two piece is actually pretty good so you can keep that that's another thing that i want to touch on real quick too and this video is kind of all over the place so i hope you're sticking with me and if you are make sure to smash that like button <laughs> fuck i hate saying that uh there are sets that you can keep for just a two-piece okay i don't want any of y'all to think oh i need to have a four set oh i need all four or i can't use it there's tons of sets that you can use just for the two pieces okay Gladiator is an amazing example of that. Uh, Viridescent Venerare is amazing. Lava Walker is one where you cannot use that. You do not want to use a two-piece set of just Pyro Res. Um, uh, character or healing effectiveness, amazing. But just look at what you have and make sure to think like, who the fuck would I use this on? If you think never, then fucking ditch it, okay? Now, there are, and this is the last thing I'll talk about. There are last thing I'm talking about, okay? There are instances where you can get an item for a set that you will never use, but just keep in mind, you need four pieces to make a whole set or two two pieces to make double bonus. You will always need one random ass piece, okay? So even if an item drops and it's from a terrible set you'll never use, that's okay because you can make it fit somewhere, all right? That's pretty much everything that I think y'all need to know. If y'all want me to go more in depth, just let me know. But I just wanted to make this video because I was shocked at how many people were just like eyes glued to the screen while I'm just fucking micromanaging my inventory. But if you want to see me do that live, check out my Twitch at twitch.tv4.com. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.